Hey, hey, Gemini. So it's me, Tessa from Tessa's Tarot, your favorite tarot reader, coming to bring you some energy. So you know what to do. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglampathe.com. Today is actually uh, Tea Tuesday. So all the teas and any tea accessories, like the little infusers, um, those are 10% off. You don't need a code. Uh, personals aren't open right now. And we'll get into this. So, Spirit, what's the tea? This is just going to be a random message. No rhyme, no reason. Just what's going on? We pull from a bunch of different decks and see what we get. Hmm. I know I crossed the line with you. So somebody know they done went too damn far. Somebody knows that they have went too far. They probably know that because they probably tried to communicate with you after they did whatever they did and you um, you aren't going forward. So they know that uh, they went too far. What else? Hear it. Trust. It is safe to trust this situation. I feel like this person wants you to trust them. Like, they know they didn't went too far, but they want to try to regain your trust. Bottom of the deck, longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you and boundaries. So, like I said, I feel like this person probably has been trying to come back around or probably has been trying to communicate with you. But this is giving me like nine of wands vibes where you have built uh, boundaries or a wall against this person. If you give me pause and me taking a drink. I have been so thirsty lately, like unusually thirsty. And I know people say, oh, you drink a whole lot of coffee. I do drink a lot of coffee, but I drink just as much or more water and I have been so thirsty lately but um someone is secretly yearning for you I don't even think it's really secret I feel like you probably can sense that this person is longing for you if you are sensitive to energy then I'm sure that you can probably feel this person in your energy but also um I feel like this person probably has tried to communicate with you because like I said, with this being the first card out, them knowing that they crossed the line, I feel like they try to communicate with you in some way and they were met with your boundaries. Okay. What else? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your life. I'm not really a proponent of divine timing. Um, if you've watched me any length of time, then you know I am a fan of making it happen. You, I don't want to quote the scripture wrong, but there is a scripture in the Bible that says, ye are gods, okay? And also it talks about us being made in the image and the likeness of God okay so that means you are a creator just like God is a creator you are a creator divine timing is at work in your love life if you divine that the time is now then if you start affirming for love or a partner or a relationship you will bring it into you it, you will bring it in now I think the divine part comes in or at least in my opinion, is you knowing that this is the time. Like, you may have felt and knew six months ago that that was not the time to start trying to bring somebody in. You weren't ready or you weren't good with yourself. But now you feel like now is the time. I think, or I feel like that is divine timing when you know it's right. Nothing else 
if you're waiting on divine timing to bring you something, you're going to be waiting. Okay? You're going to be waiting. I don't know. Maybe that's just the control freak in me, but, you know. I think the biggest thing is knowing yourself. Knowing what you're ready for, what you can handle. What else? I feel like a lot of you guys are at the point to where you want to bring love into your life. Something new. Because y'all are y'all always talk about in my comments how you're ready for something new. So the time is now to start affirming for new. Okay? Love yourself first. Some of you guys need to have some boundaries. Get you some boundaries. Some standards. And trust yourself enough to know that you will not accept any any old thing from people right so a lot of folks get in relationships and they run the people off because <laughs> they are so caught up in what happened in the last relationship when you and, and so you impose so if my last boyfriend was a cheater okay and i get with this new person even if he wasn't thinking about cheating okay i get with this new person and because my last three boyfriends have been cheaters or they cheated on me, I have created an assumption that all men cheat. That was actually an assumption I had for a very long time. My, um, that was something that was drilled into me by the males in my family. Okay. They, and, and they did it to look out. They called themselves looking out for me. Right. So the intention wasn't bad, but so I created an assumption that all men cheat. So every man that I got with, they cheated because that was my assumption of them. And so whatever assumption you have about a person, they have to show up in your reality, in your awareness that way. If I were to assume that all men are loving and faithful to me, if that was my assumption of men, every man I deal with would be loving and faithful to me. That's why you have women who never experience certain things. And then you have women who keep experiencing the same thing over and over again. It's their assumption. It is their assumption. If I assume. So let's put this in real life. Say you're dating a guy and his reputation says or the streets say that he is a player. That's what everybody in the streets say. So <clears throat> that's why I hate to even get people's, I hate for people to know who I'm dating because that's when the stories come. Everybody got a story about this person and it messes with your assumption of that person before you've even gotten to know them. But let's just say you start dating this guy and his reputation is a player. Okay. So you already assume this is a player going in. He has to show up as a player. Okay, but this same this same guy meets me and I assume that men always want to be loving and faithful to me. That's my natural assumption. Okay, that player would then show up in my life as loving and faithful because he has to because that is my assumption. Okay, a lot of you are manifesting and creating these situations in your life because of your assumptions of what is supposed to happen or your assumption of how things are supposed to go. Okay. And we base our assumptions on past experiences and we, we base our assumptions on, um, you know, especially when we're younger on like our parents and what they tell us or how they tell us life goes like, if you grew up in a household where your parents always told you life was hard and money is hard to get and whatever, those are your assumptions about life and money. I guarantee that those scenarios played out in your life. I guarantee it. But then you have somebody who raised their children and never and only talked about um, good things, only assume or put the assumption of good things in them. Like money is so easy to make and uh, relationships are easy and you know giving them those kind of assumptions they didn't experience the same thing as you uh, that's why it's so important to be around positive people who, who see things from a different perspective because 
then you're going to create or you're going to um, have different assumptions. Some of you guys need to create the assumption that I will not let people mistreat me. So it's safe to get in relationships. I see people in my comments, about they don't never want to date again. They ain't never date nobody because of this and that. Why? When you can just create the assumption that I love myself enough to not let other people mistreat me. And so because that is your assumption, the first sign of mistreatment, you won't tolerate it because that is your assumption. Uh, an, an assumption that I had that I didn't even understand what I was doing, but I think it was just a cockiness in me. But I always had the assumption that every guy I date, they want to be with me. Because, I mean, because why not? Shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But So that was my natural assumption. Yeah, I assumed they cheated, but I also assumed they wanted to be with, they, they, they would want to be with me. So even if they was cheating, they ultimately would want to be with me. That was my natural assumption. And at that time, it could have came off as cockiness or um, uh, what would you call it? Being cocky or being like full of yourself or whatever, conceited. Um, but that's what I assumed. And so and it always played out that way. I've been asked to be married three times. Uh, and so. It, it played out that way because that was my assumption. Some of you guys need to change your assumptions about dating and what dating is and what love is and what relationship is. Because you would see a big difference in the kind of people that um, you're attracting. I feel like a lot of you guys are ready to start having a loving relationship or start a love relationship with somebody else. But you got to get that under control because if not, the same scenario is going to pay out, play out. Let go of your control issues. Again, there's no need to control anything if you're naturally, if your natural assumption is everything always works in my favor, why the hell do you need to control anything? I use that blanket affirmation so much that I would get into stuff and I mean, it was just like miraculously it would turn around because my natural assumption became everything always works in my favor. So if you feel like everything goes right for you, there's no need to control anything. There isn't a need to. Let's see what Kipper has to say. This is really random, so just go with it. It's going to be random. Official person. Some of you guys are dealing with somebody in the military or you may be in the military, especially with this main female at the bottom of the deck. Some of you guys may be dealing with somebody in the military or you may be in the military. 222 two, two may be, I just think 222 two, two is significant to Gemini's because of the duality. Because if you notice, I'm always saying, I'm always saying that 222 two, two may be significant to you guys. I just think with us being a dual, a, a dual sign, um, and the fact that twos are about partnership and decisions. I feel like there's always some kind of decision that we need to make or that we're needing to be making. But also, in terms of this reading, like I said, I feel like some of you guys are ready for a partnership, okay? Some of you guys are ready for a partnership. New, albeit, but still ready for a partnership. <clears throat> some of you guys may have somebody over in Afghanistan or coming back from Afghanistan but I, also, but I just feel like maybe some of you guys are dealing with somebody that's in the military. Maybe you're in the military. They have some kind of high honor or high ranking. Could very well be you. But I feel like this may be you dealing with somebody in the military also. What else? Some of you guys may be coming across, uh, coming into some unexpected income, maybe something to do with the military. So maybe some kind of benefit being paid out. Okay. Mature woman, maybe, maybe like your mom or somebody got some kind of, maybe your dad was in the military and you're getting some kind of benefit. Bottom of the 
I'm gonna that Ace of Pentacles. Some kind of something unexpected. Something that you've been I feel like it's something something that you've been waiting for, but it's still gonna be a, it's still gonna be unexpected when you get it. So I feel like you've been waiting for it, but it's unexpected still. Okay. Maybe some kind of settlement from some kind of um maybe some kind of settlement from like a divorce or something. You've been waiting on it. You know it's coming, but you've been waiting. King of Cups. This person may be a uh, water sign, Scorpio, Libra energy. This official person. So this may be somebody who doesn't express feelings much. Okay. I feel like this person wants to come rushing in here with this Knight of Swords energy. Could be dealing with a Gemini or a Taurus. I feel like this person wants to come rushing in or you want to come rushing towards this person. Okay. <clears throat> Clarify high honor. Clarify high honor. This person is very hard working. This person may have worked their way up through the ranks of something, or you may have worked your way up through the ranks of something. You may have walked away. You may have walked away from this person, but you still hold them in high regard, okay? So have you ever walked away from somebody, but you still respect them? Like, you may have walked away from this person, but you still hold them in high regard, or they still hold you in high regard. So again, I know I crossed the line. They, You may have walked away from this person, but they still hold you in high regard, okay? Yeah, Six of Six of Cups energy. I feel like this person... This may be somebody that you knew from childhood. So this may be someone that you've known a long time. Um, this also may be somebody that you have children with. But with this Six of Cups, I also feel like this is somebody who maybe wants to... Yeah, because they're longing here. Okay? So this is somebody who probably wants to rekindle something with you. Okay? I feel like there was some deception here. Okay? Clarify deception. I mean, clarify Seven of Swords. Goodness. Yeah, there was some deception here with this three of pentacles in reverse. Could be dealing with a uh, Capricorn. Definitely some, some deception here where you guys weren't on the same page. I feel like there was distance, okay? Some of you guys are dealing with somebody in the military or something like that. Like the person may have been overseas and you were here. Um, could be dealing with a Cancer. But I feel like there was some deception that caused you guys to not be on the same page or not be able to um, uh, uh, get along together with this Three of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Cups, Scorpio Energy, Eight of Cups, Pisces Energy, Seven of Swords, you know that's Aquarius. I, I definitely get the sense that maybe somebody was overseas or something like that, okay? Hmm. I feel like when they were overseas, they may have been dealing with others, okay? Capricorn energy with this devil card, Knight of Wands, is Sagittarius Scorpio energy. Yeah, this person had options. Seven of Cups, Pisces, I mean, Scorpio energy. This person had options, and they may have been dealing with them options. Clarify official person. This person's ranking or this person's... I feel like this person was very... Con so I feel like this person was very conceited. Very picky about who they chose to mess with. Or they held themselves... They held themselves in high regard also. So they basically they thought they was the shit. Four cups, cancer, energy. You were dealing with somebody who really thought they was the shit. Clarify four of cups. He's 
he was used to having his ego stroked. So with this with this uh strength card could be done with a Leo. This person was used to having their ego stroked. I feel like women or this this energy had people fawning over them or really or really they didn't have to try much to get the attention of the opposite sex or this you know or the same sex if this is a same sex um if this resonates with same sex but this person did not have to try hard to get did not have to try hard to get uh attention from people okay and i feel like actually this person this person people fawned over this person or people really stroked this person's ego which really just created a monster okay really created a monster this person was very picky very picky clarify four cups okay i feel like this person never really committed to the relationship so two of cups here could be dealing with a cancer it's a lot of cancer energy here i feel like this person never really committed to this relationship they never made a solid decision about this relationship so i feel like if this, if this is your story, this is somebody who never actually said the words, yes, we're in a committed relationship. They just let it kind of, they let it kind of stay up in the air and they never solidified anything. Okay. They may have knew it was a soulmate connection. They may have felt that they probably didn't say it, especially with this King of Cups energy out here. So they probably didn't say it. Um, they never really solidified anything when it came to this. Okay. Which caused burden to you. Ten of Wands. Sagittarius energy. They went to. Uh, they crossed some kind of line. Whatever happened. over, Whatever going on over here. With this devil. Knight of Wands. That's where the line crossing came in at. Especially with that Seven of Swords. So the seven, so the the knight of wands is out here. That's player energy. We all know that's player energy. So you probably, so you already had the assumption that this person was a player. I already know a lot of y'all assumptions are based on what you put in the comments. I read every single comment that y'all y'all put because I have to, I have to, um, I've set it up to where I have to approve every comment before it goes in my comment section because I don't want negativity in my comment section. So I read everything. And the way y'all talk about y'all people, I already know what your assumptions are. And that's why it keeps showing up that way. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting. One to date. I feel like this is this person. Again, it says right here that this person is someone is longing for you secretly. I don't really think it's a secret. Like I said, if you are sensitive to energy, I feel like you guys know this about you can feel this person's energy. Axe. So you gave this person the axe, okay? Break up separation. Stop the pattern. Silent treatment. Abandonment. So I feel like you're not talking to this person. You walked away from this connection with, with this eight of cups here. Uh and basically you gave this person the axe girl with the snake <laughs> here go not today not today not dealing hurt avoiding a conversation call person boundary still angry so i feel like that's where this i know that i crossed the line come from i say in the beginning i feel like this person been trying to reach out to you and you you that's how they know that they crossed the line because you won't communicate with them okay and then girl with a snake that's where that boundaries card comes from because if you keep getting in relationships where this per where the where the people that you're dealing with is like a narcissist empath situation you need some boundaries you need some boundaries i am the kind of person i am not scared to lose anybody anybody every nobody no i am more afraid of losing myself than anybody so that makes people try to hold on to me because I'm not holding, <clears throat> I'm not holding on to them. That's just, and it is not some, something that I had to work at. That's who I am naturally. I've always been like that. Um, some of y'all need some boundaries. 
if you always end up in situations like this, somebody here, y'all need boundaries. Empath and narcissist paradigm, being char charmed or used, enable and boundaries. You need some boundaries, okay? You need some boundaries. It need to be some things you need. There need to be some things in your mind that you will and will not go for. But again, it starts with what you assume. Some of y'all have assumptions about people in general that are detrimental because people will continue to show up in your life based on your assumptions. They have no choice. They have no choice but to show up that way. So if you're going to assume something, at least assume something good. Like I said, I have always assumed. This is the second time I've seen something about engaged. That's at the bottom of the Tetris Tarot deck. But also, when I first picked up this black deck, see if I can see it, if it's close. Engagement was at the bottom. Okay? When I first picked up this deck. That's the second time I've seen something about engaged. This could be some kind of gift. That could be some kind of gift with that Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> See what Tesra's Tarot got to say. They feel like you're the one that got away. Hmm. That's another card of longing. They are trying to get you pregnant. If you are still dealing with this person and you do not want to get pregnant, that six of cups energy, two of cups energy out here, that devil, whew, be very, very careful. And also with that seven of swords, because that could be them trying to be sneaky, trying to put a hold on you. Not telling the truth about their finances. So they're not being truthful about their finances. Either one or two things. Now there are cards about finances out here but they're good so either well there's three of pentacles in reverse they could be lying saying that they got a job and they don't or lying that you know with this three of pentacles in reverse they could be laid off or laid off in some way one of, well they could either go either way they either have more money than they're telling you or they have less than what they're trying to sell you so this person may be coming into some unexpected income what else well somebody is secretly pregnant Mm, this six of cups energy clarify they're not telling the truth about their finances clarify they're not telling the truth okay so this person may have been in mm, here we go there go our boy okay here we go yeah Okay. And the king and queen of cups out here. And the five of So I feel like this person was <laughs> this person may have some money tied up in some kind of There definitely could be children here, okay? This person could already have children. Especially with that emperor card out here. That's a husband and father's Aries energy. Five of cups is Scorpio energy. Ten of cups is Pisces energy. You got Taurus out here. Knight of Pentacles is Virgo Leo, Leo energy. They could have their money. So their finances could not be what, what they are saying they are because they have money tied up in a separate in a separate family. Or especially if they're going through some kind of divorce or separation. Because we've seen two cars of separation out here too. They could be going through some kind of divorce. And that's where the money is going. Okay. You got the Queen of Cups out here and the King of Cups. That's a partnership. That's a divine partnership. Knight of Pentacles out here with the Taurus in it with the Hierophant card. Their money could be slow coming in. They, they could be slow at work or slow in business. Okay. I don't know why I get the sense of like child support or something. But this person may be on child support. Clarify. Someone is secretly pregnant. Wow. 
That's that's that, that that's pregnant. <laughs> wow, I can't even get it out. Okay. So this may be somebody that they clarify page of cups in reverse. Okay. Yeah. I feel like this is somebody that they didn't even really deal with like that. Like, I, I'm getting friends with benefits gone wrong <laughs> is what I'm getting. So, this person may have had an outside baby outside of the relationship. So, this could be y'all right here. And you the one tying up their finances. This could be y'all because that, that, that Queen of Cups is Gemini Cancer Energy. Them crossing the line could be them getting somebody else pregnant. They trying to get you pregnant to hold you in this. So you may already have children with this person, but I, but to me, this is, this telling, this says to me, friends with benefits gone wrong, page of wands, page of cups in reverse. This is not something that they were serious about. Mm. Chai. They talking shit about you to other people. I feel like they're upset because you have put boundaries in place. This could be their family. Their, their family, their family could have played a big part in, um, their family could have played a big part in the demise of you guys' relationship. They are acting like they don't care about you, but they do. Mm -hmm. What else? They want to be more than friends. So maybe you guys are just keeping it cordial. <clears throat> maybe you guys are keeping it cordial with each other for the children's sake. They like you as a friend. I feel like this is for this right here. I'm telling you, this this gives me friends with benefits gone wrong. Like they were just in it, just maybe to have a little fun or whatever, a little sex, and it, this is what it turned out. This is what happened. But I feel like that's for that right there. You guys are headed towards a breakup. I feel like you guys are already there. So if you're so if you guys aren't married, they want to marry you, and and uh that's where that i've seen that engagement card twice okay so i feel like you guys are already in separation and if you're not married they want to marry you because that's the second time that's come out mm. this is a mess this is a mess right here let's get an angel message let's see what the angels got to say father help us that's a mess. And I want to say this too. I mean, I guess I don't want to say that because that's an assumption. And I really try to practice what I preach and make sure I don't give you guys. Because we we have been, things have been drilled in our head that people assume for so long that we actually take that for true. And doesn't mean it's true because all you got to do is meet one person that goes against what we've what what we think we know and that changes everything that changes everything so i guess i don't want to say that i'm gonna keep it to myself i'm trying to get these all upright but i'm serious about changing your assumptions and it will feel like a lie at first but I mean, if you're going to lie to yourself, at least make it to your benefit. Like I tell you, I've been lying about my age for so long. I, a lot of times, I don't really even know how old I am. And because I lie, I have lied about it so long, I always look a whole lot younger than people. Like, like if, if I take the time to really add my age up for somebody and tell them, they're like, dang, you don't, you don't, are you serious? I'm like, yeah. But that's because I've been lying about my age for so long. That is the assumption. they're just things that I have always assumed about myself that were to my benefit and then there have been things that I've assumed that was to my detriment and when I fig when I figured out that I was doing something very wrong by assuming that I changed it okay so this is saying to let go of this this is saying to let go of this some I feel like some of you guys <laughs> I feel mm, okay spirit uh, okay, it's so funny how things line up or how things, okay. I feel like this is saying let go 
of the see I started off talking about assumptions I really didn't know where this reading was gonna go I just I just turned the camera on and started talking okay I feel like there's a mature woman around you that plays a big part in molding this part of your life there's somebody around you somebody in your presence somebody's a mature woman that brings you messages okay hmm a mature woman that brings you messages that are going to bring you great fortune and i don't mean just abundance but just fortune in life okay it's going to bring about change in your life there's somebody six to seven to eight come on six seven two plus six is eight nine okay there is a woman there's a mature energy around you that are bringing you messages or, or, or just telling you something that's going to bring you fortune and i'm talking about in life i'm not talking about just abundance fortune is not always about money and it's going to bring change it's going to bring change I feel like this let go is telling you to let go of what you think you know. Reconsider what you think you know. Because like I just said, it only takes one person. Like, let's just say you have an assumption that, let's use black people for instance. Let's say you have an assumption. What's an assumption? Oh, I know one. I know one. Black, all black people like watermelon or chicken or something like that you know whatever the stereotype is those are assumptions about us you're talking to somebody who does not like watermelon and I'm black okay all it takes is for me to say I don't like watermelon to make that assumption not true I feel like this is saying let go of what you think you know let go of what you think you know for sure and reconsider everything Reconsider everything you think you know. So, let go of your assumptions about people, about how you think certain people show up, about, God, let go of, of, I can honestly say that I have the, the assumptions that I had 10 years ago, I don't have now. Because I've seen things, I've seen things happen that I would have, that I assumed wouldn't happen. I've seen it, okay? Reconsider what you think you know. Reconsider what you think you know. I know this sounds like rambling, but I just, I don't know. I feel like unlikely could have something to do with this situation. If you're, if, see, and this is the thing about stuff like this. See, this is the thing about stuff like this. Now, if the question is, or if you're thinking, let's say you're thinking, can this work out? This is saying unlikely. I'm here to tell you that if you assume the opposite, it will. Okay. So let's just say this, because this is what tarot does. Tarot picks up on your energy right now so right now in this energy it is unlikely okay it's unlikely right now but i'm here to tell you that if you really wanted it to no matter all this crap if you really wanted it to it could that's what i'm saying okay this situation the situation will improve and the situation will improve if it's saying be assertive. So the situation will improve if you decide it will improve. See, there's a lot of things. It's so funny how information unfolds, right? Like if I would have known, if I would have known what I knew, what I know now in my 20s, I would have, there would have been some lessons that I didn't learn because I would have turned it to my benefit when at some sometimes i feel like there are some lessons that need to be learned right so the information says the information comes when you're ready what does it say 
when you're ready the teacher appears if I would have known what I know now 20 years ago or in my 20s I'm sorry in my 20s I would have changed situations that didn't need to be changed I would just change it because I could when there was a there was a lesson okay I would have wasted my time because with the with the with the knowledge that I have now I could change anything any situation any person I could change it I now know that there are some people who are not worth that energy because it takes energy to do it as I told you yesterday the the work happens in between your ears it that is the that is the warfare is getting your thoughts to line up and disciplining your mind to line up with the outcome that you want is hard work especially if you have a lot of resistance to it okay so like if you don't have any resistance like say I'm trying to say I'm trying to manifest a hundred dollars and I don't have any resistance to that because to me a hundred dollars is not a lot of money okay that's gonna show up quick I'm gonna firm for that a couple of days and it's gonna show up because I don't have any resistance to it but to somebody who has never seen a hundred dollars their whole life that seems impossible so they're going to have more resistance to it. So it's going to take longer to discipline their thoughts to line up with that outcome of seeing that hundred dollars. There are some situations and some people that are not worth the energy it would take to change it. I only change things now that are very important to me and that are in line with um, the vision I have for my life. If anything, I'll affirm you out my awareness to be honest with you I'll affirm your ass somewhere and you know be that and be done with that be assertive means take control okay take control a lot of y'all are so victimized and you really feel like life is just happening to you and it's not it is if you sit down and think about I want you to sit down and write out all the bad all the shit that, that you deem as bad things happening to you right now and then I want you to think about the thoughts that match that so say you don't have a job say you don't have a job right now I guarantee your constant thought is I'm not qualified enough I don't have the right qualifications I don't have enough education I can't find a job the economy is that those are your thoughts on that situation and it, that's why you don't have a job if you flip those thoughts and yes it's going to feel like a lie at first it will feel like a lie like for something that i'm really something that is that i have a lot of resistance to i really have to affirm it like all day long or every chance i get for like two or three days i'm talking about i have done stuff that actually i had a headache because i'm trying to get it in there i'm trying to get it in there and my brain is like trying to kick it out because your your subconscious is there to protect you so your subconscious will try to push that information out because that's not what's in front of you you don't see that what you're saying doesn't line up to what we're seeing the the object of the game because it really is a game go go on youtube and look for florence scoville shins the game of life and how to play it it is a game that's why my grandma used to always tell me she said she used to say baby this is chess and not checkers it is a game <clears throat> I have to, so there were things that I was trying to do that were deemed impossible to me or big things and the first couple of days I would have headaches trying to get it in there but then on like the fourth day I'd wake up and those thoughts they start playing the thoughts that I've been planting they start playing in my, my head before I even actively started thinking it that's when you know you're on the right path that's when you know you've broken through now it gets easier this be assertive is saying to take control and stop letting stuff just happen to you stop letting people just show up in your life any kind of way either you're going to change them and have them show up the way you want them to or you're going to affirm them away from you and be done with it but make some kind of choice be assertive stop walk, going around to different people complaining about what's going on instead of doing something about it this this was good 
This was random, but this was good. I don't even know what I'm going to title this. I don't even know what I'm going to title this. So, Gemini, I hope this reading was helpful for you. Go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. Uh, personal readings are not available right now, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.